Welcome to the JetBrains YouTube channel. In this video, we'll show you how to open and set up an existing Ruby on Rails project in RubyMine. Project setup will include configuring the Ruby interpreter and gem set, installing the gem and JavaScript dependencies, and running migrations. You can find the link to the sample Ruby on Rails application in the description. Before going through this tutorial, you need to install the following tools. First off, you'll need to install a Ruby interpreter. We are using RVM, a popular Ruby version manager for Linux and Mac OS. Let's open the terminal and execute the RVM list command to see a list of installed Ruby versions. In our case, these are versions 2.6.3 and 2.7.0. In addition to Ruby, install Node.js and Yarn to manage JavaScript dependencies. Finally, install SQLite 3 to work with the SQLite databases used to store our application data. Now we're ready to clone the application. Copy the repository address and run RubyMine. On the welcome screen, select Get from Version Control, paste the address in the URL field, and click Clone. RubyMine will then download the application and open it. In the bottom right-hand corner, you can see messages that suggest installing the gem and JavaScript dependencies. We'll skip those for now. On the left-hand side of the screen, you can see the project files in the Project Tool window. Let's switch to the Project Files view to see the hidden folders. For each opened project, RubyMine creates a .idea folder that keeps project settings in the XML format. For example, it stores SDK settings, VCS and code style options, and so on. Let's go back to the default project view. Our project uses the .ruby version configuration file to specify the Ruby interpreter. If you open the Preferences dialog and go to Languages and Frameworks, Ruby SDK and Gems, you can see that RubyMine has already selected version 2.6.3 because it is installed on our machine. If you change the version in the editor, the IDE will update the interpreter automatically. RubyMine also provides the ability to analyze the .ruby gemset file for selecting the required gemset. Let's create this file. Select the project root and press Command N to create a new file on Mac OS. On Windows or Linux, press Control N. After creating the file, click Add to add the .ruby gemset file to Git. We'll give the gemset the same name as our application. When you save the file, RubyMine will try to switch the project SDK to the gemset with the specified name, but won't find it. However, you can create the missing gemset in the Preferences dialog. On the Ruby SDK and Gems page, click Add, and then select New RVM Gemset. Specify the gemset name, click OK, and select the created gemset. Click OK to save the settings. Now we need to install dependencies specified in the project's gem file. Press Shift-Command-O on Mac OS or Control-Shift-N on Windows or Linux to open the file. You can see that all the gems are highlighted since they have not yet been installed on the selected gem set. Press Alt plus Enter, select Install Missing Gems using Bundler from the context menu, and press Enter. First, RubyMine suggests installing the Bundler gem. In the Bundle Install dialog, we add the argument for installing all the gems except the gems from the production group. Click Run to start installing the gems. This could take several minutes. After installing the gems, RubyMine needs to take some time to index them. This is required for Code Insight features, such as code completion and navigation. As you can see, gems from the production group are still highlighted. You can see the installed gems in the Ruby SDK and Gems page and the external libraries node of the project view. One more thing we need to do is install the JavaScript dependencies. Press Ctrl twice, find the yarn install command in the list, and press Enter. This will install the dependencies to the node modules directory. Before running the application, let's check that RubyMine provides code insight for method calls to external gems. 
open the user's controller.rb file. Then, holding down the command key on Mac OS or control on Windows or Linux, click on any library method, for example, paginate. RubyMine will open the method definition within the Active Record Rails module. You can also locate the open file in the project view. Click the Select Opened File button, and RubyMine will find the active underscore record dot rb file under the External Libraries node. Before running our application, we need to run the database migrations. Press Ctrl twice, find the rake db migrate command in the list, and press Enter. In the Invoked dialog, you can choose the desired migration file and select the environment. Click OK. To run our application, we can use the automatically generated development configuration for Rails. Select this configuration on the toolbar and click Run. We can now open our application in a browser. And that's it! You can learn more about the main capabilities of RubyMind from the Get Started Help topic linked in the description. Thanks for watching!